So basically, let me talk to you about a furore that you were involved in last year, because I found it very interesting the way the debate played out. You wrote an op-ed uh, for Market Watch yes. uh, a year ago, actually, in which you said that the American flag no longer represents democracy and freedom, and you wanted it changed. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, I, I just think that uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like in a, in a general thing, it's just a new day. It's just time to, you know, you reboot the Constitution, the flag, all the, all the old standards, you know, that, that our, our ancestors lived by, you know, were right for, for the time they lived in, but we're in a different time, you know. So, um, so the flag is... Uh, so in, in the States, you know, to me, what the States do best is diversity, is culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Without culture in America, you really don't have much going on. You know, you have, you know, I don't know, Amazon. Like, what do you have if you don't have colour in the States? Right? I mean, I agree with that. What I would yeah. say to you is, though, that it's such a divisive issue, things like the flag. Do you not think there's a danger? I mean, I'm interested in what, how you feel a year on from that debate. You got hammered, obviously, by a lot of people. A lot of Americans were outraged. Others mm-hmm. thought you raised an interesting point. In a way, it wasn't that dissimilar to what Colin Kaepernick went through with the protests that he was doing. Some agreed with him, others were furious. Do you have any regrets about the, what you said about the flag? No, in fact, I, I'm excited to bring it up again because I, I think it's more important now. What, what I want to do is, is more important now. It's just messaging. It's just, it's just like if you, if you... So my idea was to make the stars the colors of all of us. So there'd be mm. a star representing you, one representing me, one representing everybody in the room, right? So that way you look up to the flag and you feel welcome, you feel included, you feel like you belong there. But why does... OK, let me play devil's advocate. Yeah. Which is... I think the American flag is a fantastic flag. I love my flag here, too. Uh, the English flag, the UK flag. I love these flags. To me, they're not about making any kind of diverse point. They're just great flags. And if I was an American, most Americans I've spoken to about this, they say that there are other ways to, to celebrate diversity. Juneteenth mm. is one, right? right? There are other ways to do this. Why go after such a powerful emblem of the United States of America when it causes the whole debate actually a lot of disunity? Whenever the flag was, was, was conceptualised, mm. they, they made it based off what was going on during that time, which was a war. That's another thing we celebrate a flag that represents war. I actually have an American flag on my office wall you at do? home. Yeah. Why? Fact, I think we've got a, have we got a picture of it? Um, I think we have it. Oh, look, that's my office wall uh, in London. Uh, I look at that every day. Uh, it's a, actually quite a unique one. It's got 34 stars. Yes. Which means it was actually the flag from the Civil War period when Lincoln right. was president. And that's the only flag that was in use during Lincoln's presidency. And I bought it at an auction because America's been a large part of my life. And I, I find it a stirring emblem. And I never look at it and think, well, that's about white people or, you know, white power over black people or that's attacking diversity or it could be more diverse. I just think it's such a magnificent emblem. Now, I'm white, so I might think that. Well, it's not, it's not that it's about white people. It's, it's just that I, I, everything is different than when Lincoln was president. So, and whoever designed that flag designed it for that day. So I'm just saying, what's wrong with a new flag? What's wrong with representing where, where we are now? Like, we, we no longer have 34 states, right? So, right. so they made one with 50 states. So. Well, they've changed the flag over the years. That's true. When you got kicked back on this, yeah. did it surprise you how ferocious some of it was? Did you mind? Did you expect it? No, I didn't expect it. I, I thought people would agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought people were like, yeah, let's, let's do a new flag. I don't know, it's kind of an art project. It's just like, well, well I don't see why not. That's mm. my thing. Do you feel that more people are aware of racial injustice, of racial equality? Do you feel like the taking the knee, which went around the world mm. like wildfire, especially after George Floyd was killed, do you feel that that all helps, or are these just token things which don't actually make any tangible difference? Um, I, I think it made a lot of people aware. I think when it, when it comes to changing someone's view on race or people, uh, that's that's more than a one event. That's mm. a, that's you know that's growing up. That's parenting. That's where you go to school. That's what neighborhood you live in. There's a lot that goes into how you feel about people that aren't like you. You know what I mean? Do you, do you feel that America is more or less racist than when you grew up? 
it's definitely not as bad, you know. Mm. Uh, I was born in the 60s, so I don't understand racism, to be honest with you. I, I, like, I get, like, I'm sitting here with you, and we're different, you know mm. what I mean? And there might be things that I, I, would be, I wouldn't want to say in front of you that I might say in front of mm. my friends of color and vice versa. But, like, to hate someone or want to kill someone or mm. hold somebody down because of what they look like, I don't... I don't understand. I mean, I completely agree. I, yeah. think, I think most people would completely agree with that. Yeah. I do think racism is a, is a minority, fortunately, in almost every country, particularly America and Britain. I don't think it's it, by any means a popular thing, yeah. but it exists. And it's, the, it's what's the best way to tackle it? What's the best way to get rid of it? You have to let go of uh, needing to be better than, than everyone else. You have to let go of... Of, of your hang-ups about slavery. You have to let go of your hang-ups about superiority. You have to... You know, it's, a, it's very personal how you feel mm. about other people, you know? Like, we could have a conversation about how you feel about women, you know? Mm. And there, there would be so many things that, that went into that, you know? I mean, we're in an era now, Macy, where you can't... Yeah. Most public figures are too terrified to even say what they think a woman is. I know! I mean, well, if I asked you what a woman is, what would you say? Let's say uh, a human being with uh, boobs. <laughs> you have to start there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the dictionary is quite straightforward. It just says a, a human child. adult female, yeah. right? No, a lot of people... Yeah, see, that's... Now, that's a little getting confusing. The whole he, she, they, that's, that's going to... And I'm not rap. sure why, really. It's a, it's a bit like this whole issue of, of transgenders mm. in sport. Because I, I, I support all trans rights to fairness and equality. Me too. But not where you have people born to obvious physical superior bodies. Me too. Transitioning and then thrashing the women at their sport. I totally agree. And I, I will say this, and everybody's going to hate me, but as a woman, just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman. Right. Sorry. You feel that? I know that for a fact. Mm. Like, if you want me to call you a her, I will, because that's what you want. But that doesn't make you a woman just because I call you a her and just because you got a surgery. Because people do feel, feel that you, there's biological sex and then there's gender identity, that you right. can identify as whatever you like you in terms of a gender, yeah. right? That's totally. the freedom we live in. Absolutely. But actually, you can't change the mechanics of biological sex. They are what they are. Well, just every... Like, women go through just a, a completely unique experience. Mm -hmm. that, and, and, and surgery or, or, you know, finding yourself doesn't, doesn't change that. You know, being a, a little girl is, is a whole epic book, you know? And and you can't you can't have that just because you want to be a woman. I mean, you know that you when, when people like J.K. Rowling have, have said this, mm -hmm. they get attacked, they get abused. Yeah. The cancel culture mob comes from them. She gets called a, She gets called transphobic and so on. You might get the same for saying it. But it's the truth. I'm not... I, and, I, and, the, and, 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 and I don't think you should be called transphobic just because you don't agree with you know, I, I just... There's a lot of, you know, judgment and throwing, you know, stones at people for, for just saying what it is, you know what I mean? You have hung out with some very interesting people in your time. Yeah. Prince was one of them. You sat in a dark room. <laughs> he called me onto his room. The lights were out, which was weird, and you talked for two hours in this dark room. Yeah. And he gave you a great bit of advice. Do you remember it? Yes. He said, uh, just remember it's not about you. What did he mean by that? That as an artist, it's about what you give, what you, wh how you make your fans feel. I read yeah. recently that you're you're looking for love. Well, you know, that's 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 subjective. That's you know, that that can mean a lot of things. What, what what did you mean by it? What did I mean? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I haven't been in a relationship in a while, and I kind of picture myself, uh, you know, doing all that right now because it's a lot of work, and I don't see it yet. But I'm thinking when I do, I'm, I'm just going to have a, an audition. Really? Yeah, I'm just going to, like, have a cattle call and I get to chew. <laughs> Did I say that wrong? I have a man call. A cattle call? Yeah, and I'll pick the ones, you know. Well, a lot of bulls turn up. Is that the idea? Yeah, Male and, then bulls. and then I'll inter interview them. And then I'll... And, and, then I'll and just to give them a bit of help before they join the queue, <laughs> and it'll be, a, I'm sure, a very extensive line, but um, <laughs> what advice would you give them about the kind of man you're looking for? Oh, gosh. See, that's that's a long... OK, let me think. Well, you know, not to be corny, but there's energy. You know, there's connection. There's, like, you look at someone and you, you know, it's that thing. Energy. 
Yeah, just energy, you know, to be comfortable with someone. Tall, small, do you For care? For sure tall, they have to be tall. tall. Yeah, how tall are you? Six one. Oh. Plenty of energy. You're married. <laughs> But she'll probably she'll probably train me. She's probably watching. <laughs> but no. But but uh, yeah, definitely tall. Because I'm tall. I'm five eleven. How many how many times have you actually been properly in love in your life? Do you think? Well, I've been married twice, so that's two plus maybe two more. Four times. It's difficult. Yeah. To get to go there, you know. Well, hard to be also when you're as successful as you are. Thank you. And you're famous. Thank you. And you're doing all this and you're being mostly great, it's hard to then have a human relationship, right? Where you can, I guess, completely trust people. Uh, no, I don't, I don't have, I'm not a big, uh, you know, on trust. I don't, I don't really worry about that. I just, uh, it's just a comfort thing for me, you know, who, who I can sit with and then be myself at least, you know, most of the time. When you came out with your criticism of the American flag, yeah. you did also, I think, make it clear that you were proud to be an American. Very. I, lo I love my country. Probably more than most of the people who criticize me. Right. Yeah. I was going to ask you that. No, I love my country. I'm, I'm proud of my country. I'm, I'm proud of, of where I'm from, of, you know, being a woman, being black. I love everybody. I can honestly say I love everybody. And if I could have the power to let you relive one moment in mm -hmm. your entire life. Yeah. Outside of having your kids and getting married, what would you choose? Boy. Let's see. There's days in the week when I lay in my bed in my underwear and I switch channels and I don't have any, and I'm not worried about anything. And they're the best. Those are the best. I just <laughs> lay there and I just go through my channels and I find something. And I, I don't have to get up and go to Piers Morgan on Sunday. I, don't watch I can just it lie here. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best moments. You know? and do you sing when you're on your own? You just start suddenly let rip. Uh, I do, you know, I, I do, I do start singing, yeah, sometimes. Because I'm still, like I said, working on my voice. I'm trying to get to a thing, you know, that I'm working on. So I have a song called uh, Every Night, but you got to hear. That should actually be the, the theme for It's you, out now, yeah, I know that. Yeah. For your new TV From show. a new album, The Reset. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And then I have a song called Thinking of You. It goes, okay. I am drinking and I am thinking of you. And were you thinking of me when you sang that? Totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Macy, it's great to see you. Uh, you the new album, The Reset, is on uh, released on July 8th. The new single, Every Night, is out now. And you just finished you. your UK tour and you're on, your, on tour in America now. Yes. Well, best of luck with it. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Thanks for having me.